What's up y'all, it's your girl Leah back with another video. So today we are in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't think I've done a property in Atlanta in a couple of days or a couple of weeks. So it's about time we go ahead and get down there. This property is a two bed, four bed. I believe it's either a townhouse or a condo. I believe it's a townhouse, that's what at least it looks like. But sometimes townhomes, it can look like a townhome but it would really be a condo. But anyway, before I hop into this video guys, please make sure you guys understand that I am a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. And none of these comments are made with ill intentions. If you need any help buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. I'm gonna leave my contact information down below. But without any further ado, I don't wanna hold you guys up. Let's go ahead and hop into the review. So as you guys can see, like I said, it is set up like a townhouse. That's what I'm pretty sure that it is. This home is not on the market yet. It is gonna be coming on pretty soon. It's listed for $439,000 and it is almost 1,800 square feet. It is 1,792 square feet to be exact. So I am assuming that this home, like it looks like it can be four stories, but it might just have like some upper windows that's like, leaning down into the top unit but or not the top unit into i'm sorry i've been looking at multi-families all day it could be just like a like a sun sunlight type of thing so let's go ahead and get inside the property i like that it does have a garage that's a plus okay so we got some hardwood floors i don't know when this home was built because that that the fireplace it doesn't look very new at least from what i can see right now I like the built-in shelves that they have. This is an interesting light. It kind of looks like those lights that they put at the top of the ceiling or just that is hanging on the ceiling, but it's just actually attached to the ceiling and they just like put a, what, what do, like something just for it to be held into. But you know, it's not bad. I don't, I don't dislike it. I like that there is a lot of, of windows. I love natural lighting. I'm always a fan of natural lighting. And it looks like there is potentially a balcony or a patio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, I'm pretty sure this fireplace isn't the newest. I don't, like I said, I don't know what this, how old this home is, but I definitely don't think that this is like a brand new construction or anything like that. I, like I said, I do like the built-in shelves. I think that's nice. This is a pretty good space. It's kind of set up a little bit awkward though. Like, I feel like, if you wanted to decorate it a certain way, you're almost forced to put like your couch and stuff here because there's a door right there and then you wouldn't put your couch in this area. So you almost are, like I said, forced to put it on this back area. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Hmm. I guess it's bigger than what I expected. Is it bigger than what I expected? Okay, so now my the way that I'm thinking that the home is set up is like, totally different okay so this is that chair that we saw so i guess back here like if we were to look where the fireplace is that's where it would be opened up at okay that's nice that's nice i like that this is an open area i feel like most people probably would have put like some bar stools here but i don't dislike that they put a couch right there a lot of people don't even use like a um like a dining space or a sitting space to eat at so they would just be using their living room so i don't I don't think that this is like an unreal estate. I feel like this is a very like lived in space. Okay, yeah, it looks a lot bigger than what I thought. From this angle, it makes the room look very small, but I don't know, perspective is, is such a liar. You know what I mean? Like you could be thinking that you are in an extremely small space or that the space is gonna be very, very small. And then kind of like how you see right here, it opens up completely. Oh, and then they still have an area where you can put a dining table at, so that's really good. So the kitchen and the living room are pretty much like an open, open concept type, and then you still have a dining area. So if you did have people over, you can still utilize that area. You don't have to use your living room if you don't want to, to eat in or to entertain in. You have this dining space. So I don't, I don't, I, that's a plus for sure. This looks like a very realistic home. like. I wouldn't say, oh, you wouldn't be able to feel at home in this this house. Some of the homes that I reviewed, if you guys remember, I some of them you it just doesn't feel like home. It doesn't feel comfortable. This house is is very is it's normal. You know what I mean? Okay, I like the big mirror. 
Okay, and the kitchen is a lot bigger than I thought it was too. And then they still had an area where you can put bar stools at. So I can see why they put the couch behind this little wall and then they put the bar stools here. You only have two bar stools, but that's not bad. For two bedrooms, I mean, I would assume there wouldn't be too many people living in this house with in a two bedroom house. So probably two bar stools is probably all you need. That's probably all the space that you would really utilize anyway. Let me see about this refrigerator here. Your refrigerator looks, is the refrigerator the same? Okay, so the refrigerator is black and then the other appliances look like they're stainless steel. So, okay, well, it might have a little bit of something, something going on here. That's nice. I like the island a lot. I like the island. I really, really like it. I would like to see kind of like what's behind it though because the, the sink is here on the other wall. Why didn't I see? I feel like I'm all over the place in this house. Like, okay, so there's that wall. Okay. And then, okay, oh, that's a pantry. That's a pantry right here. I have never been so confused with pictures. <laughs> like, there's so many, it feels like it's supposed to be open concept, but because this, this wall is here with the pantry, it kind of like gets rid of that illusion. So, I mean, if you wanted to be able to look at your TV, you probably have to stand like close to this corner or you would have to go around this corner in order to see it from the kitchen. But I mean, it is what it is, not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? So, all right. And then is this another? Oh, this is the same dining area. Okay. Another view of this kitchen. Why did they take, why did they take so many pictures of the, okay, that's fine. All right. So remember I was saying that I wanted to see what was behind this. So it's just more counter space. I don't think that you would put anything too tall on this this counter. I don't, I mean, I guess some people would. I'm not really a fan of putting a whole bunch of stuff on the counter. So, you know, I wouldn't put like a Keurig here or something like that. I probably wouldn't put, you know, something huge right there. But then again, it's like, what else are you gonna put on there? So, I mean, it has electrical outlets for a reason. So obviously something is supposed to be hooked up there but I don't really know like what this particular counter would be used for. It's almost like they should have just made this whole thing into like, just like an island or something, you know, not even having this cabinet space or having this whole thing like raised up or lowered. I don't know. I just feel like it would be awkward to put something that was really humongous here. It, when I put a lot of stuff on my counters or if I, there's a lot of stuff on my countertops, I feel just like clutter. Like this, like the toaster oven, I wouldn't put that on that that one that we just saw. And you have a gas stove, so I know some people don't like gas, some people do. So then there's the dishwasher. I always get confused with these, or not get confused, but I always forget that these drawers right here aren't actually drawers. If you try to pull on it, it's not gonna open because the sink is right there. So I think that they just put that there just to make it look like seamless. I like the backsplash. I don't really see anything like terribly wrong with this house. See, they put their tears right here. And this space, this, this island in the middle is just kind of awkward to me. Okay, we're finally in another room or in a bathroom. This, I don't know why this home has four bathrooms and two beds. Like that's such a, a backwards number. Usually you would expect for it to be like maybe four beds, two baths, or even two bed, one bath, or two bed, two baths, but four bathrooms. I would assume that two of those are half baths, but why do you need two half baths? I could understand if it was even two, three, you could have a half bath downstairs, but having three bathrooms, extra or having two two extra bathrooms it just doesn't to me it just doesn't make sense i do not like the mirror at all replace that remember i, I told you guys if we're going to be paying a whole bunch of money for a house we're going to be able to see our whole everything okay um i don't i do not like the sink the sink would have to be upgraded as well the paint you know to each his own with the paint really i don't dislike the color but then again i really don't like that too much i feel like it forces you to decorate a certain way i like more neutral tones when it comes to painting so i mean this room is a decent size you know it has a very good size window it does have carpet some people don't like carpet some people don't mind it looks like they have a child so you know they, the the child's room looks very clean so i mean i wouldn't be too worried about it and you got a ceiling fan regular ceiling fan 
Let me see. Because I remember I was saying that the, there were some windows. So I don't think that this is going to be a three. It is a three story. It is a three story. I was trying to remember what the outside looked like without having to go all the way back. So I think the child's room has a bathroom because at least that's what it looks like from here. Unless that is a closet. That's, it looks like the carpet is going in there. So it's probably a closet. Unless this is the closet. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So the child's room does have a... It, does, it only has a tub. Oh no, I see a shower. I see a shower. I was about to say, no. <laughs> no. I was about to say, please tell me that they did not not put a shower in this bathroom. But the child's room has a very, very, very decent size bathroom. So they have a tub. That's nice. And then they have a shower as well. This, this vanity for the bathroom, decent size. I like that you can put some things on there. Then you got some cabin space some storage space on the bottom the mirror isn't too big and it isn't too small i can accept this type of mirror oh the tub is so big like that is gorgeous now imagine being a child and having this big old tub I can, now now we're gonna have to wait and see what the parents tub looks like because the child if the child's tub looks like this can you only imagine can you only imagine with the parents i can let's just keep on going let's just keep on going he got his little he or she, you never know, has her little, his or her little Spider-Man on the, on the wall. That's real cute, real cute. What does that say? Find the something, something. Can't read this bottom part. This is a shower. Okay. I feel like depending on the age, this would probably be like the ideal, that would probably be the ideal bathroom for, you could, you could grow, like if you had one child, you could probably grow your family in that, in this type of. So I would assume that this is the master, this is the parents room or whatever. And it's a decent size. It's not like it's super, super small. It's pretty decent size. You know, eventually you may want to get something bigger, but I don't think that this is like an uncomfortable amount of space. This is a good amount of space. And it looks like they probably took care of it very well. They didn't even hang stuff up on the wall. Okay, this chair makes it look smaller. From this angle, it looks smaller. Okay, the, the, the master might be a look, it might be small. Unless the furniture is this big. Because remember, just because <laughs> it looks small, it might look small in the pictures, but it's best to really go look at it. So if you guys want to see any of the properties that I review, make sure you go ahead and reach out to me and I will go ahead and set up showings for you. The, I mean, just from like right here, it looks tight, but I can say that some furniture is just big. Some furniture is just big. I'm not gonna sit here and act like, oh, well, this is a small room because it just looks small. No, the furniture could really just be like a, a bigger size. Like we don't know what actual size this, this bed is. This could be a full, it could be a queen, it could be a king. This dresser looks humongous. So we don't know. And then the parents got a, a, a big tub too. That's, that's a plus. And they have a huge mirror. Now I'm really hoping that because there's this really long mirror, I'm hoping that there's another sink on the other side, like dual sinks. Because if it's only one sink, that is a no-go for me, right? If I have my person living with me, I don't want to be sharing a sink with you. You go get your, get, go your, go to your side. You know what I mean? You go to your side. But I love the tubs. I'm, I think that's a huge plus. They got their shower too, so like they're, it's almost identical. They only have one sink. No, they only have one sink. But the, I mean, the sink is large though. So I guess like if you are, if you're a couple, you could kind of split it, I guess, you know, that the, your spouse's side will be on here, your side will be on over there or vice versa, whatever. You know what I mean? I guess it's not that bad. It's fine. They don't have anything hung on the walls, like nothing. It's like they were like, you know what? We don't need to hang things. Okay, they have a, a laundry area. That's a nice touch, nice touch. You know, you would think that they would have a laundry area. I would hope that they would have a laundry area. <laughs> so you do have a balcony. Love that, love that. Cause I like to sit outside. I know when I move, I'm gonna be so upset because more than likely my next place is not gonna have a balcony, but it's fine. You got a little privacy fence, even though your neighbors can see you right there, but it's fine. They're probably not even looking. They're probably not even looking. Okay. It's a cute little neighborhood too. And then they have a whole nother living space. A whole nother living space. I don't know what floor this is on. I can't really tell. But yeah, 
it's, a, it's okay size. You know, you could do some things with it. If you move this desk, you could definitely move some things with it. Or move some things with it. You could definitely do some things with it. There's a whole nother bat, a whole nother full bathroom. Sorry guys, I know you probably just heard that. I forgot that my microphone was attached to my hair. <laughs> There's a whole nother full bathroom. Why is that? Why? Why? Okay, assume, assume this, right? Even if you had a guest come over, say for instance, you didn't have a child and they didn't utilize that room or you didn't have someone that that occupies that room all the time. This, the second bedroom still has a bathroom, right? So why would you need a whole nother bathroom? I'm not saying that it's, it's wrong to have a whole nother bathroom or three full bathrooms in a two bedroom house. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but why? Why? I mean, I guess if you have like, maybe more than one person staying as a guest in one room, I guess. I don't, I mean, it could be anything, you know? It could be anything. So I'm not gonna speculate, I'm not gonna assume. I just think it's interesting. So across the street, they got two two car garages. And then the balcony has a, you know, it, it's shaded under here. Low key, if you wanted to, you probably could turn that into a little something something, you know? Probably turn that into like a little sitting space too to be honest. If you have like outside access, like direct access, that would be okay. Cause it's shaded. Oh yeah, see there is outside access, yeah. So you could do something with that. And then there's like a little privacy fence there too. So you don't even have to worry about your neighbors, you know, being all in your business and stuff. Or you can just go up to your balcony. It's in a gated neighborhood, that's a plus. That's a plus. A pool, okay, so that means that you're more than likely gonna have an HOA, more than likely. Some people hate HOAs. Some people think that it keeps the, the community under control. It is what it is. I personally don't like my HOA, but you know, whatever. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. <laughs> okay, so let me go. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your both channel. If you guys need any assistance, like I said, buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, Make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. I will leave my contact information down below. My email is actually either here or here. You can email me and I will send you my calendar and we can get on a call and talk about how we can help you get all of your real estate needs met. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.